D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I'm going to be showing you how a heat pump works just a quick overview of that and then for all you pros out there all you pros I'm going to be showing you my tricks or my method of replacing this four-way valve or any four-way valve the methods I use all right so uh, as always before we get into the video I want you to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and smash the bell icon smash the bell icon so when I upload videos like these you get them right away all right guys so as you can see um, this is a heat pump system and um, what makes it a heat pump is this the, the, the deciding factor or the key component or the component which separates uh, a regular system from a heat pump is this valve right here it's called a four-way valve or the reversing valve all right so in a typical conventional cooling system uh, this is your suction line right this is all insulated it's a larger pipe that goes inside okay goes inside to the indoor unit and this is your liquid line so here you can see I'm going to show you my suction line temperature which is now your now my discharge line our compressor compressor discharge line and um, I'm gonna show you the temperature that's the pipe that's going inside that's going to uh, reject the heat and um, so you're nice and toasty on the inside so that pipe currently is 156 degrees typically in the cooling mode that pipe will be cold all right but here we are now this right here is the suction line now your new suction line and you can see it comes out of the condenser or the outdoor units All right, so this pipe right here and you can see that suction line All right that pipe is cold right now 28 degrees okay so this is your outdoor unit with your compressor and that's right now is absorbing heat from this cold outdoor air currently it's 42 degrees maybe a little bit colder um, but you can see 42 degrees going into the coil and leaving the coil 25 degrees so we're picking up heat from the cold air outside that's pretty much how a heat pump work uh, the reversing valve or the four-way valve it switches the system around whereas the outdoor unit as opposed to rejecting heat outside it's absorbing heat from outside and then the heat which it picks up from outside it gets sent through your suction pipe or your gas pipe to the indoor unit and reject it so we're going in 162 degrees that's right there that's pretty hot that's a hot suction line well it's not a suction line right now that's a discharge line all right that's that so if you want to if you got questions about heat pumps how they work this is a simple heat pump all right there's nothing sophisticated about this one um it's just a train residential system all right that's it so let's talk about the tricks the moment you've been waiting for the tricks are my method of replacing this four -way valve and i know that um even pros this gives them a hard time because you are trying to remove these three pipes which is side by side and it's difficult and if you're going to try to use a torch it's hard to unsweat or unbrazed or unsolder all three pipes simultaneously to get this thing to be removed so what you do um these pipes these, these these nipples that's attached to the valve these one two three four pieces they're usually soft copper soft copper similar to uh line sets right they're soft you can bend them um if not you can just simply uh take your torch and make these three pipes cherry glowing red one two three four actually you can do four if you want make them glowing red once they're glowing red um now if it's hard or even if it's soft once you make it cherry or glowing red with your torch and who cares if the valve is going to be cooking because it's an old valve anyway you're going to be replacing it uh make it glowing red and then you uh once it's once it's cooled down now the pipe will be soft and if it was already soft it's going to be even softer 
Once you do that, you simply take your snips and just cut. This size pipe, you can just simply cut. Cut it through it with your snip. Soft enough, it got right through to the snip, right? Cut all three, and then cut all four if you like. This one is usually easy to remove, the, the top pipe, the piece of top. Just unsweat it and pull it out, it's easy. But it's the three together in the bottom is the problem. So, like I said, once you want this, you make it nice and soft. And you can do that either um, by using your torch, making this piece right here cherry, glowing red, glowing red, glowing red with your torch, warm them up nice and hot, make it cherry red. Then once it's cooled, um, if, it's, if it's hard, it's gonna be even so, it's gonna be soft now. You can just cut through it right now with your snip. Or if it's, or, these should be already soft, soft alloy, alloy, alloy copper. And you cut, this, cut, cut all three, all four out, cut them all out. And then you just take your torch and easily, easily just unsweat the switch pieces right here. Unsweat all three pieces, or all four pieces. And then you can, nice and clean, you can put your new valve in, that's that. Now in the event, this of a larger valve, so these pipes are bigger. You got like one inch right here, or maybe seven eighths. Uh, obviously, the snip won't be able to go around it. It's too big. So you do the same steps explained previously, and then just take a take a, a channel lock, pliers, and just go in between and squeeze it. Squeeze, make it flat enough or skinny enough so that your snips can now fit over it and cut right through. And that's it. Once you cut all three off nice and clean now you can just unsweat them one by one baby one by one and then that's it i mean no hassle easy as pie if you have another method share it in the comment section i'd like to know and then if you like this video if it helped you out give it a thumbs up you know I upload videos on a weekly basis all right yeah pretty cool this i know gives even the best of mechanics a lot of trouble and frustration to, re to replace these valves especially if they're in a tight space they'll try to unsweat all three pipes good luck with that you'll need four hands <laughs> right so i just shared my method with methods with you if you got questions about that again you can always leave it in the comment section when you're going to reinstall a new valve make sure you put protection on the valve you use a, a wet rag paste or wrap it with with, with physical um a wet rag so that the heat from the the new braze that you're going to be brazing the new valve in doesn't travel up to the valve and destroy the valve you can't just brace it without any protection all right i'm out it's too cold out here for this